Hey everyone, what's up, Simple Bro? This is a little update on my untitled, which I'm planning on calling uh, Gin's Adventure, but anyways, it's an untitled game. This is the updates. Uh, the waters has changed completely. So have the so has the acceleration. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna add a gun eventually where you can have like a little weapon thing. There are little fishies and they do change direction this time. Easy, easy. Fishy, fishy, come back to me. Hey. You can bounce on top of the water if you want to. The uh, the swaying thing has kind of changed a little bit. I have a background now for the water and the sky. It's awesome. It's just all in one image. Yeah, this is it so far. I'm going to show you the whole level. Basically, this is like one of those tutorial levels where you're getting used to the controls and stuff like that. They're eventually going to do damage to you. You know what? I might just make them harmless. I think yeah. I did 99.9% .9 of the graphics. Actually, literally all of the graphics on my own. I just used uh, a Mega Man tile set as a base. Uh, Mega Man 1. Because, well, again, this was planning on being an ori originally being a Mega Man fan game, and it became this. That's pretty dang awesome. Um, by the way, you can find hidden walls in the water by watching how the water sways the, the walls. You can see the, like, the opening right here. Yeah, when the slime goes off screen, they reset their position. I set it that way too, though, so it's, it's good. It's not like a bug or nothing. I. And the slimes also go uh, behind and in front of the tiles as well. Low cut man thing, because that's where um, that's where the thing is the, the, the goal. And those tiles were re represent uh, designed to represent um, bananas. But yeah, that is my no, excuse me. That is the game that I have been working on so far. It's been really fun. A lot of programming involved. Like a butt ton of programming, like beyond an insane amount of programming that I've ever programmed. Well, I, I, maybe a program more once, maybe for like Silver the Hedgehog, but I mean, writing my own tile engine with a lot of help, you know, uh, with you know from Skydrain and other people on the Game Editor forums. Um, you know, I was able to get this done. Man, it's uh, oh, by the way, if you watch the water. The water moves in front slightly, like faster than the uh, everything else moves. And if you look at the background, that background doesn't move at all uh, horizontally, but it moves like no matter, like okay, watch the clouds. They move exactly in sync with the view. And there's actually a little trick to that because normally, you know, you see how the text is moving completely in sync as well. Normally, you would have to parent, you know, an object to a view. But I found out that if you Okay, normally if you just do x equals view dot x, it would um it would update it, but like it would be all weird if you start moving. Like it would move late, kind of. But if you do x equals view dot x divided by one, well, obviously plus it, the half of its size, uh, it actually for some reason updates instantly. So I think that's pretty cool. As you can see, the pipe is kind of moving differently than the. Uh, other tiles, but if you watch it, it'll eventually catch up. That's because the layer 2 tiles are slightly more in front, so therefore they make a uh, different type of movement. Because you can see the grass next to this. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think. By the way, if you want to test this, there is a link in the description. 